What is up my crazy square? This is Joe King Jones TV4 and today I'll be teaching you guys the best class setup for the VMP SMG. Now this weapon is not that far to unlock. I mean it is the second SMG to have and uh, you can unlock it right away because I know they give you a token on level 1. So um, unlock the VMP because it is one of the most powerful SMGs out there in the game right now in Black Ops 3. So test it out, unlock all the attachments that, that you see right here and you'll be doing just fine in the game from now on and I promise you, you'll be getting over 30 kills per gameplay. So uh, let's move on to the attachments for the VMP and I promise you this is the best, stealthiest takedown close quarter combat weapon you can ever use in the whole game for right now in Black Ops 3 because I know later on they're going to either nerf it or buff it depending on how the situation is right now in the Call of Duty community but so far the VMP will be your main weapon from now on if you want to level up so crazy right now VMP is your is your gun right now so now moving on to the attachments now and uh, I'll tell you guys the reasons why I have some certain attachments so the first attachment I would like to talk about would be the stock now the stock attachment will allow you to move faster while aiming now this is quite necessary because um, if you're don't if you don't have this uh, this attachment um, you're not allowed to aim and move quickly at the same time you're gonna be a sitting duck and that's something you don't want you want to fake out the enemy now it's kinda of like a football move you know when when um, NFL running backs you know juke the defenders that's exactly what you wanna do so what you wanna do is with your at left analog stick the, the one that allows you to move you wanna shake it to the left and then to the right every time you shoot while aiming at the enemy it is gonna confuse the enemy it will make the enemy miss and that's why I have stock attachment because this is gonna help you you know get yourself prevented from being killed and uh, the stock attachment also gives you an advantage you know pretty much you're gonna be juking the enemy uh, gives you uh, an angle that you know the enemy does not you know defend itself so uh, you get to a certain position uh, a lot better you know that allows you to kill the enemy so use the stock attachment add it it will help you guys out on close range combat Moving on to the next attachment, which will be the suppressor. Now, this one is the one that keeps you stealthy. If you don't have this this attachment, do not tell me this weapon is not stealthy at all because it is stealthy. Once you have the suppressor, it's going to avoid you from appearing the map. That's why there's the suppressor right there. If you don't want it, if you want something else, then go ahead. Be my guest. But I'm telling you, without it, you're not going to survive that long. Moving on to the next attachment, it will, it will be the grip. Now, this attachment will allow you to balance the gun every time you shoot the weapon. Now... This one is still a 50/50 on me. I'm still thinking of of uh, you know changing this attachment. I still need to test it out without it because uh, it kind of feels the same. But I do notice a little bit of recoil every time I take it out the grip, and I'm noticing that uh, also the you know you you don't you cannot aim from long range or even attempt to kill anybody from long range because it will shake a lot. So I'm still undecided either to keep the grip or not. It's, that one is 50/50. But for right now, I want to keep the grip because I want to aim from long range to short range. You know, I want to have all that that advantage in one weapon so it's all compressed into one now moving on to the next one which will be the rapid fire without it you can pretty much see how much firing rate is missing out on now I believe this is the perfect firing rate for an SMG I tested it out you guys have seen my gameplays it's perfect you can take out enemies back to back with no problemo so at the firing rate at the rapid fire it will become a faster um, you know rapid fire weapon and it will take out the enemies ASAP and I'm telling you without the rapid fire you'll probably be getting taken out like enemies like with um, like two per mag since this mag you know on the, on the on the VMP does hold 40 bullets you know and without the rapid fire you can probably barely take like two to three with the rapid fire you can probably take out like four to five I have already attempted that once before and I'm telling you you could take out a large group of people with the rapid fire since the bullets are going straight ahead and the more accurate you are of course the most uh, the more the more kills you get along the way so at the rapid fire it's gonna be a gigantic help because without it this weapon might as well be considered dead so add the rapid fire and you're going to be able to see the biggest difference and it will become the best weapon for close quarters combat. It will be the boss of all SMGs. So that's my class setup with the VMP. I'm being a boss around here. I'm getting like around 40 to 50 kills per gameplay. It's just insane. I'll be posting a lot more gameplays about the VMP. I'll keep on updating this gun so I can let you guys know if I switch out something or not. So uh, more gameplays about the VMP coming up. Now, about the perks, well, you can have whatever you want, but I'm currently using Ghost so I can stay off the radar. Uh, I'm using Scavenger so I can replenish my ammo. 
And also, I'm using Blast Suppressor, which is pretty much of a necessity. If not, you're going to be detected on the map like 24-7. So, Blast Suppressor is a must-have. I know there's a tactical mask and all this other stuff, but you want to be sneaky as hell, you got to add the Blast Suppressor. Uh, that's my tip to you guys about perk number three. Now, the other two, you can have whatever you want, and I know I'm going to get a little bit of criticism by having Ghost, but I don't give a damn. I'm getting my kills, I'm sneaky behind the enemy lines, and I'm getting my kills. You know, I'm getting my kill streaks. What about you? You don't have this? You're getting killed all the time because you're being detected by UAV no matter what. Without Ghost, you're never going to be stealthy. So add Ghost. Don't matter what, how many people you know call your names. Add Ghost. It is a big-ass advantage. It's in the game. So you got to use it. So that is it, guys. That's my best class setup about the VMP. More gameplay will be coming up. Hopefully, I can get one over 60 kills. I was about to get it a long time ago, like maybe like around the third day after Black Ops 3 was released. But uh, it was a total failure. I ended up with like 50 kills or something like that, like 48 kills. And I think I, I think I did show it here, like 48 and 12, I believe. So that is it, guys. If you guys want to see more Black Ops 3 multiplayer gameplay and also more best class setups, next up, the weapon that I'll be testing will be the um, NA which is the, uh, the the AK looking weapon so that one's gonna be next and hopefully I can get something good out of it so that's it guys if you guys want to see more Black Ops 3 make sure you subscribe for more